It's been three years since I quit my job, which is crazy to think about. And a lot has happened over those three years. I had a kid, got married. On top of that, there's been successes, there's been failures, there's been excitement, there's been growth, there's been change. Today, I wanna to talk about three different things that I got wrong when I was leaving and how my expectation did not meet reality. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna share more about this as I'm at the three year anniversary of leaving. And I'll share more about some of the wins, challenges, lessons, stuff like that. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and come back every Monday and you'll see the videos that come out. I'm Patrick Menefee and I'm here to help you level up your money, your mindset, and your mission in order to help you become the best possible version of yourself and become the person that you are capable of becoming. Now this video is a part of a bi-weekly newsletter that I send out called the Menefee Monday Motivator. So if you did not come, through that newsletter, welcome. And you can go down in the description and you can click the link, you can register or you can subscribe to the newsletter and you'll get that sent to you every other week. Now, the three different ways that my expectations did not meet reality as I was quitting my job. The first one was in expecting that my exit path was going to be permanent. Now, for some people it may be, and now this is also a main reason that I focus in the coaching work that I do, where I help people think longer term and I help people think about where they're gonna go five, 10 years down the road as opposed to just where they're gonna go when they quit. But for me, I chose flipping houses and real estate as my primary means, which ironically, as I got to my three year anniversary, I let go of my last real estate asset besides the house that I live in. We tend to put a lot of pressure and stress on the fact that we really need to figure out the perfect solution for leaving our job. We gotta have it all figured out. It's just not realistic. Like I said, the goal of the work that I do is to help you gain a little bit more clarity on where you're ultimately going so that you're taking steps in the right direction. But once you get there, things can change. Once you create that freedom, once you have the time to think a little bit more, that's okay for things to change. They have for me. I've gone from flipping houses to I bought a business, I've sold the business, I've shut down my flipping company, I've sold my real estate, and now I've gotten into coaching, into building a Charlotte entrepreneurs community. So things can change and they should change, and that's okay. Now this leads to the second thing that I got wrong, which is that pivoting, failing, and quitting are all the same thing, and they're simply not. You can fail without having quit. You can pivot without failing. I've done all of these things. I've had to quit, I've had to, or I've failed, and I've had to pivot. The important part of it, and what I've learned over the past couple of years, is you've gotta know when to pivot, you've gotta know when it's time to move on. You gotta know when to double down, even though you fail. My flipping business that I had, I pivoted away from that business. I shut it down completely. Now, I almost didn't do that. I almost refused to do that because I, I was afraid of being called a quitter. I was afraid of quitting on myself and on my dream and on the team. And so as a result, I almost drove myself to bankruptcy because I failed to pivot because I didn't want it to be seen as quitting. But they're not the same thing. I pivoted. If I didn't pivot, I was going to fail. And I was absolutely horribly going to fail. At the same time in real estate, as I was doing some of my rental properties, I had two deals that were just bad deals. It just didn't go well. I failed on those deals, but I didn't quit. They didn't cause me to quit. They caused me to learn. They caused me to think. They caused me to relook at how I do deals so that I can do them better the next time. They caused me to improve. They are not all the same thing. And quitting doesn't always have to be bad. Quitting, if you're quitting because things are just too hard, that, that's, that's not great. If you're quitting because it is not the right thing to be doing, and it's no longer aligned with the direction that you're trying to go, that is a different story. And that's what I call a pivot. And so for me, it has been very important to distinguish between those three things. And the thing that I got wrong is that I said that they were all the same. Now, the third thing that I got wrong is that someone's got it all figured out. Someone that is a few years beyond where I am. Someone that has already quit and has a bigger business. Someone that had a better plan when they quit. They've got it all figured out. I'll let you know in a secret. It's bullshit. And none of us have this shit figured out. Now, don't get me wrong, I've learned a lot over the past couple of years. And I learned a lot through the process of quitting. And that's why I share this with you. That's why I coach the way that I do. It's why I have this channel. It's why I do the things that I do. Because I want to share the lessons that I've learned. But it doesn't mean that I've got it figured out. And I think the thing that holds us back a lot of times is, and what could have hold, held me back, is these things that I got wrong, I could have gotten hung up on them. I could have been focused on, well, I need to make sure that I get all these right, that I don't get something wrong. And as a result, I wouldn't have quit. As a result, I wouldn't have been sitting here talking to you and recording this on a Thursday afternoon where otherwise I would be working. I wouldn't have the freedom to do that because I'd still be in my job, because I didn't make the commitment, because I didn't take the action, because I was too concerned with someone who did it perfectly over there. That person doesn't exist. We're all working on it. So that's my challenge to you. Where do you currently have an assumption about something that needs to be perfectly in place in order for you to quit? Where are you looking for the perfect example and you need to be exactly how that person is? Because I'm gonna tell you, it's not gonna happen. The person that is, even me, being three years ahead of where you might be if you're getting ready to quit your job, I've 
figured things out over the past three years that that knowledge was not available to me. I would not have processed it in the same way back then. So don't let that get in your way. Don't let that hold you back. Don't let that stop you. What can you do to take action anyway? What are the fears that you need to overcome? What are the questions that you need to ask? Drop them in the comments below. I'll answer. I'd love to answer any questions that you have about it and address any of the fears that you may have. But the bottom line is, despite any of the things that I got wrong, I took action anyway. And I took the step and I figured shit out along the way. And you'll have to do the same. And whether you dive in head first and you don't really have a plan and you just say, F it, I'm done. And I'm gonna make this thing happen, I'll make it work. Or you meticulously plan everything out and you have a very planned exit and you end up leaving anyway. Either way, don't let the fear hold you back. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a few more videos over the next couple of weeks about the things that I've learned along the way, things that maybe I would've done differently, things that I'm really glad that I did that set me up for success. So make sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you can see when these come out, and I will see you next Monday.